a few quotes plucked from the web. Everything cotton, wool and polyester can do, bamboo can do better. You'll stay warm and others are shivering in bulky layers of synthetic fleece or down. When I wear bamboo, I sometimes feel three times warmer than other fabrics. The bamboo base is the warmest product available on the market today. Now why I'm interested in one thing. Should I swap my wool hiking socks for bamboo ones for cold weather use? I do suffer from cold toes, unfortunately. So I was lucky enough to receive a couple of pairs of bamboo walking socks for Christmas. They're soft, comfortable. Um, will they be a good replacement for my normal sock of choice for walking, which is generally something like these smart wool uh, cushion socks? These are actually a, a wool blend, 70%-ish um, wool with some, some nylon and elastane in there. And again, the bamboo socks actually have a bit of a blend as well, um, being close to 60% bamboo with some merino and polyamide in there. Now, one thing of note is these smart wool socks are a bit heavier than these bamboo socks. So these smart wool socks weigh in about 65 grams per sock. These bamboo ones weigh in at about 49 grams per sock. So in order, or in the interest of fairness, I'm also going to test a lighter wool walking sock I have. So this is an old, older sock, again, a wool blend, about 70% wool, in this, in this case, 30% polyester. Uh, but interestingly, this only weighs 35 grams per sock, so it's actually lighter than the bamboo sock. I'm also going to run a little bit of a, a bonus tester down these. So you'll have all heard the claim, warm when wet. Um, when we're walking, especially in British mountain conditions, it's very common to get wet feet, um, usually through the hole where your foot goes in to the shoe. Um, so that warmth and wet claim is super important. Um, and what I'm going to do is basically wet both these socks, wring these out as much as I reasonably can and do the test again to get an idea of probably the, how much extra evaporative cooling effect or how much insulation uh, the sock maintains when wet. Now for the test, I'm going to be using the same method I used for blanket testing. Each cup will be filled with the same amount of, uh, of warm water, about body temperature water, so sort of 37 to 40 degrees water. Um, this will then be checked periodically for temperature loss using an infrared thermometer. I'll then do some calculations on heat loss and work out which sock is the warmest. So the results of test one, um, so the dry socks are in. And quite simply, the, answers, the answer is that the smart wool sock was about, or maintained about 18% more energy than the bamboo one. So the reality is the heavier weight woolen sock would almost certainly have kept my feet warmer than the lighter bamboo one. Now, again, in the interest of fairness, I also tested a, a lighter sock and this, this wool blend sock being actually lighter than the, the bamboo one. Uh, it's bad news for the bamboo sock again. Actually, this one kept about 16% more energy in the cup on average than the bamboo sock. So another win for wool. Now for the wet test. Now, something that's immediately notable when I've put the uh, socks in the sink to... Um, soak up a bit of water which I'm then going to bring up for the test is how much more easily the bamboo sock has soaked up the water it's sunk straight to the bottom whereas the wool sock sort of floats on top and I'm having to really squeeze it to get it to soak up as much water however given the socks a really good squeeze underwater to make sure there's no air in there and they are fully saturated I'm now taking them out wringing out all of the water as much as I can by hand to leave just the damp sock and conducting the test with that damp sock so taking some readings with the wet sock. So the little wet test results are in. Um, I've got two clammy, cold feeling socks. And it's another win for the wool. Um, the wool sock lost 24% less energy than the bamboo sock. So basically insulated better 
when wet. Now tests around a cup full of warm water and one thing, real life use is another. And when we think about keeping warm, we've also got to consider things like wicking properties. You know, ideally you want to maintain heat, but you want to lose moisture. Um, so maybe my tests aren't true to life. Um, so I've got one little final test to help me find out. I'm basically going to wear these delightful cold socks, one on each foot for the next half an hour or so, and see how cold each foot gets, um, actually measuring with the thermometer as well for accuracy. Okay, so I'm now wearing two soggy socks, which isn't wildly pleasant. And I'm gonna measure my foot temperature in about half an hour's time, as well as see how they feel. Okay, so measurement time, I'm gonna take off each sock and test the temperature. So the sock that was wearing the bamboo, 22.3 sock that was wearing the wall 23.3 so there we go who wins in the battle of bamboo versus wall well in dry conditions the wall insulated as I say about 18 percent better when wet tested the wall still insulated about 24 percent better than the the bamboo and when I tested it myself on my own feet, my foot in the wet bamboo sock did get colder than the wool sock. So what does this mean for my walking sock choice? Well, pretty obviously, um, the bamboo socks don't seem to live up to the claim that they're warmer than wool or even as warm as wool. So they're not going to replace the wool socks in my winter hiking or cold weather hiking setup. Now, I do like the comfort. I do like the fit. Um, I will certainly use these, but I'll probably use them at the moment for um, warmer weather conditions. And additionally, I'm also keen to test the other side of the claim, which is that they're very good at regulating foot temperature in warm weather. So we'll see how that goes in the summer.